Oh, hello, I'm Dr. Crowley and welcome to Case of the Day. Today we're going to discuss a patient who came in complaining that their eye was irritated and felt like something was scratching or rubbing their eye. And on exam, it turns out that they had eyelashes that were turned in on the lower lid and rubbing their eye. And so that's called trichiasis, very common, and uh, happens as we get older. Um, usually this happens on the lower lid. Very seldom does it happen that the lashes on the upper lid turn in. On a rare occasion they do, but most of the time it's on the lower lid. So what happens is, <clears throat> in just a routine trichiasis, there are muscles attached, tiny little muscles attached to your lashes that keep the lashes turned in the proper direction. So as we age, sometimes those muscles weaken and then they allow the lash to turn back the opposite way. And so then as that rubs your eye, then obviously your eye gets red and irritated and can lead to an infection. Other causes of trichiasis could be that typically uh, you have a, a scar on your lid, such as a scar from getting shingles or herpes zoster causes scarring of the, of the lid when the shingles occurs on the lid, and this causes the lashes to grow in the wrong direction. Uh, if you had a um, sty or chalazion, and this sty or chalazion caused a scar of your lid, then that could turn the lashes in as well. And other lesions uh, as well could do that. And if you had a skin cancer, a basal cell cancer, or squamous cell cancer of the lid, and that caused scarring after the surgery to where the lid, the lid, the lashes turned the wrong way, then that could also lead to trichiasis. So when someone has trichiasis, their eyes very irritated, what do we do about it? Well, if the person, if there's only one lash and the person was able to see it in a, maybe a high magnification mirror, they could just pluck that lash out and, and that would be okay. Um, if they're a, unable to see it or unable to, to, to do so, then uh, we have a couple of different ways we can treat trichiasis. One is um, called cryotherapy or freezing the area where the lashes are. So we put a freezing probe on that area of the lid and freeze that area and then let it thaw out and then freeze it a second time and that will kill the hair follicle and therefore the lashes will not grow in that part of the eyelid. A couple of disadvantages of that is, is you're also going to kill the surrounding lashes uh, because it's going to freeze an area. Uh, also, it's pretty painful afterwards because the swelling from the freezer treatment uh, can cause some pain and so it's a little bit painful. Um, and so we typically, unless it's a large area of where the lashes are turned in, do not use that system. The, uh, the more common way of doing this is called electrolysis. So it's, you've, that's a common thing where you've heard people when they get rid of, of a unwanted hair, you take a tiny little needle and go down inside the hair follicle and then uh, with electrical current then sort of cauterize just the hair follicle and kill the follicle and that works very well. So we just see the abnormal lashes. I typically do this, do this with a microscope. So I go in and I go down the hair follicle or the eyelash and then we just uh, with a tiny wire uh, connected to a, um, a cautery type system and then we gently cauterize that, that follicle and we do each individual eyelash and that works very well. And so um, this person that came in, that's what we did. We actually went in and did uh, epilation uh, with um, a um, cautery and, um, that, and that typically works very well. So if you have any questions about trichiasis uh, or any other questions, you can always contact us through the website. I'll be happy to try to answer any questions that you have. If, may, if you're not uh, having any problems, great. May God bless you with healthy eyes and great vision.